So the other day I was on Etsy and I found this pretty cool jewelry box. I like this design a lot. It's made out of different wood combinations. There looks like there are eight layers and there's this couple of secret compartments under the top lead. Uh, I guess it has to be removed, um, turned over and you have access to them. I guess this little thing is held there by those magnets. So as I said, I, I really think it's a cool item and I'd like to see if I can get it replicated using my CNC router. I'm using Fusion 360 to build those sketches to later fit them to the CAM software and I think I'll use Fusion's CAM as well. I started using it recently and I like it more and more over the um, Astel CAM software that I used before. Um, I will use a uh, three-quarter inch Baltic birch plywood for a test make. Um, I'm still learning the whole CNC router and CAM stuff so I don't want to use an expensive wood to try to make it from the get-go. So the first run I'll use a plywood. I would have to make a couple of changes to this model that is not shown here. I made I made those changes further further down the road. Um, those sharp corners of the uh, of this main plate um, because it's a plywood there, there's no way to make them look nice. Uh, they'll be chipping inevitably as the end mill passes by. So I'm gonna round them up. Also, comparing to the, to the original Etsy item, I decided not to round the top and bottom surfaces, uh, edge, uh, surface edges because with the plywood it does not look that well. I, I mean, I, I, I later realized that they are rounded for the reason. When they're rounded, it's easier for those uh, plates to rotate against each other. They're not catching up onto each other as they, as the, um, the thing getting closed down. With the plywood version, it's happening, but not to the point uh, where I can say that it's not usable. There's a little bit of that. So in the in the hardwood version, I will keep those corners sharp as they're shown here. And um, I will round the top and the bottom surfaces with uh, using a router, I guess, with a rounding bit. The smallest one I got to make it open and close as smoothly as possible. Thank <laughs> you. 
So here it is. It's done. There's few lessons learned for sure. I wouldn't use plywood for if I would wanted to make this look good, look as good as the um, the the original Etsy um, item, the original Etsy design. I went with flocking for internal cavities in those um, plates. Uh, and the reason I did that is because A, I don't have a way to to cut accurately uh, the inlay from the uh, whatever material should be used just yet. I have to figure it out. And secondly, with the plywood, I don't want to. I didn't want to spend time polishing those internal walls. So flocking is the nice method to hide all of that out. And I think that actually worked really well for internal internal walls and the bottoms of those compartments. Unfortunately, uh, there are uh, flocking stains on on outer edges of those plywood uh, layers. And I think the reason they're there is that because I was going really fast and I didn't allow a lot of time between lacquering the whole thing even though I think it, 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 it's been drying for the day but I guess it wasn't enough at the end of the day so there, there those darkest stains on the side on those sides I think it's a flocking material Also, the top lid has a has a blemish on it, and I, for some reason I didn't uh, catch it on time. And I made those layers out of two different types of plywood. There was a um, Baltic birch from the um, big box store, and there was the, this lighter plywood. Uh, I think it they called blunt wood, and it has this um, like parallel line pattern in it. So I chose top lid from that material and I kind of regretted it later on. So if something I would change to make this particular make better, it's probably a top lid. Maybe even make it out of some other material, maybe um, a walnut plate. So if I would make a top uh, and the bottom plates out of walnut, probably will, will give a really nice contrast to the rest of it and actually make, will make it look much better. Uh, but I'll save that for a real thing when I'm ready to make it. Thank you for watching.